Silk Utopia was originally born from a science class that I was required to take at the Art Institute of Chicago. Um, I started messing around with dyes on fabric. Then that led to repurposing already existing garments. So I take garments that have already been used, wedding dresses, and anything basically that's silk, I will take and paint on it and give it a new life. My work has a fantastical element. Nature is a common thread in my work. I actually take a lot of plants and use them to, you know, influence my patterns. Being a designer is kind of an open book. Just thought it was neat to be able to wear paintings instead of just put them on the wall. So that's how Silk Utopia was born. Since that point, I've actually been taking vintage um, gowns, silk gowns, and refurbishing them, repainting them, giving them new life. There's a lot of really beautiful, beautiful dresses in the world and I just don't see the need to create more waste and um, there's a lot that goes into making a garment. I've always had this compulsive urge to collect and reuse things and that's just really something that I've done since I was a child. Recycling to me is something that's rooted in me and my um, just kind of moral ethic. It's not something that's trendy to me. I want to bring back a little bit of uh, what's been lost in our society as far as clothing as an expression and um, it's an art form and we've kind of lost that. We've become really casual and that's fine, but it seems like people are way on the casual side and we need to bring back the art of dressing. It's not about looking good to other people, it's about feeling good and my wish when people wear my clothing is that they feel good and they feel original and different and you really have to be not afraid to stand out in the crowd. The type of woman that will wear my product is eccentric, confident, um, a lot of times powerful women. Uh, women that can think for themselves, they don't need anyone to tell them what to like and what to wear. That's who wears my clothing. There really is not a outlet um, for fashion, like how I'm doing. I mean, we need to pay more attention to non-traditional forms of fashion. That's one of the nice things about doing a show like Vera Couture, is that you can actually introduce fantastical things that wouldn't necessarily be practical in everyday life. Bianca's dress was kind of subconsciously, it wasn't, you know, a lot of times I, I don't realize things while I'm making them, but I think it was probably a subconscious reaction to the Avatar movie. And um, actually I had been on this whole parrot feather thing way before Avatar came out and then it just kind of reaffirmed this whole trend that I was on. I actually gathered a lot of uh, fallen parrot feathers. I've been collecting the feathers for over a year now, so made this dress for Bianca and she wore it beautifully. That's what art is. It shouldn't all be practical. It shouldn't all be, you know, sellable. It shouldn't all be about the money. Sometimes you just have to make things for art's sake. That's what I do. I exist in my island at all times. <laughs>